Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. Um, you join me on what's turning out to be uh, quite a nice mid-June evening. It's been fairly unpromising all day but um, as you can see up there the uh, sky appears to be clearing so um, I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of, uh, of astrophotography tonight and um, hopefully you'll come out and, uh, and join me. It's going to be fairly late, going to be 10, 10.30 start but uh, I don't have to be at work till around lunchtime tomorrow so I get a little bit of a lie in so um, now's my opportunity to get out my name's John and I make videos on camping walking and astronomy if you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with this video given that it's uh, mid-June it doesn't actually get dark here there's no astronomical darkness at all um, and the sky ends up at best being a kind of light grey colour there's no uh, moon about at the moment so that's good and what I've found is in, in the past when I've had gone out in these sorts of conditions that um, the best thing from my back garden is to um, just use an ordinary camera and a DSLR with a 50 or 25 millimeter lens and just see if I can get bits of the Milky Way so that's what I'm going to do tonight in conjunction with the star tracker uh, keep my fingers crossed hope for the best I tried to do a similar thing when I went camping a couple of weeks ago but the moon was out so I, I whilst I've got a starry sky I've got no um, structure in the Milky Way the bit of the Milky Way that I can get from my back garden at this time of year is the strip of it that runs uh, around the uh, star Deneb in the constellation Cygnus um, but that's quite a good area got a lot of nebulosity and stuff in there so um, yeah I'm, I'm hoping that I can get some sort of result uh, out of that Deneb appears pretty well smack over my roof so um, that's pointing in a, a generally darker sky area for me there's not too much in that kind of easterly direction so uh, in that direction my skies are apparently bottle class five so uh, I'll bring you back a little bit later on once it's got dark and um, we'll see if I can get anything I heard that you walked out again I heard that you cried Come this way, let me be a friend My home's open wide So I've just popped outside um, just to see if I can get polar aligned um, but I can't see Polaris yet the brightest star in the sky at the moment is uh, Vega which is in the constellation Lyra not too far away actually it's up there from where I'm trying to um, photograph tonight but the other stars in that area haven't come out yet so I need to hang it out a little bit longer um, I'm keeping it fairly simple tonight I'm using a um, Skywatcher star adventurer to um, do my tracking which will enable me to take uh, longish exposures and a standard straight out the box unmodified cheapish Canon DSLR along with a 50 millimeter lens so um, yeah I'm just going to give it another half an hour or so I think and then I shall be out trying to polar align and see what I can get So as you can see by that little time lapse, um, which was supposed to be a, a, a nice time lapse of um, the stars moving across the sky, um, last night really turned into an unqualified disaster. No sooner had it got dark enough to start shooting than the clouds started to roll in, having been like clear for most of the day. Um, so yeah, I kind of hung it out till 1am, hoping that it was going to clear. 
and it didn't so I kind of gave up in the end um yeah sometimes I think I did wonder whether to do a video at all and um I think sometimes it's useful to show people your failures as well as your your, your successes because otherwise people get the, 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 the wrong impression of the of, of the hobby um astrophotography is renowned for being incredibly frustrating uh, whether the problems are technical ones to do with your equipment or um, lack of experience and knowledge on your own part or the weather there's always something looking to to trip you up i managed to get less than 10 minutes worth of of exposures over the two hours or so that i was out um, i was taking exposure times of about a minute um, just in a the hope of avoiding cloud coming in and ruining any given exposure um, I did process that earlier on today and as you can imagine with such short exposure time it was horrendously noisy so I've um, extracted the stars from the image denoised the life out of it and then put the stars back in at a subdued level just to create some sort of picture um, it's probably one of the worst as <laughs> worst astro pictures I've taken for the, a few years. Um, looks incredibly um, soft because of the denoising that I've had to do. But um, nonetheless, like I say, it's kind of worth showing people your failures as well as your your, your successes. So uh, there we go. That was um, this week's little astro experiment. Um, I'll put that image up in a tick. Um, hopefully the weather will perk up here soon. It's been a very poor uh, spring. We've had next to no um, decent sunshine, but hopefully it will pick up soon. Uh, telescope astrophotography is probably off the cards for me now till about August. So it's really more of this wide field camera and normal lens stuff for, for the summer. But hopefully I shall um, be able to get out again soon. But anyway, I'm going to put the picture up now uh, just so you can see what it's like. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Cheerio.